step back into the cool vibes of the late 50s with a TV series that kept viewers on the edge of their seats, 77 Sunset Strip. This crime drama, set against the glamorous backdrop of Los Angeles, introduces us to a pair of suave private investigators, Stu Bailey and Jeff Spencer. In this series, intrigue is the name of the game. As you dive into the gripping cases they tackle, you'll encounter a mix of funny, shocking, and downright sad moments. So keep your eyes glued to the screen because there's a roller coaster of emotions waiting for you. Now, let me ask you this out of all the characters weaving in and out of the series, which one became your favorite? Or is there a specific scene or moment that left a lasting imprint on your memory? We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. As you reminisce, share with us your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the series. Your stories are the heart of this community and we're eager to hear them. So don't hold back, drop your tales in the comments. Get ready for a trip down memory lane full of suspense and nostalgia. And remember, there's more to come. 77 Sunset Strip, the TV series from 1958, continues to leave a lasting impression on television. Set in glamorous Los Angeles, the show introduced viewers to Stu Bailey and Jeff Spencer, the suave private investigators effortlessly navigating the world of crime and intrigue one notable aspect of the show's influence lies in its ability to seamlessly blend different genres. It wasn't just a crime drama, it combined suspense, humor, and poignant moments, creating a unique viewing experience that appealed to a diverse audience. This made it stand out in an era filled with TV experiments. The series' lasting relevance today is due to its ability to evoke nostalgia while maintaining a timeless quality. The intriguing cases, the glamorous LTA setting, and the witty character banter create a narrative that transcends its specific time. Whether viewers watched it during its original run or discovered it later, they find themselves captivated by its timeless allure. Furthermore, the show's impact goes beyond the screen, influencing fashion, language, and the portrayal of private investigators in popular media. Its cultural influence turned it into a touchstone, leaving a significant mark on the entertainment landscape. In conclusion, 77 Sunset Strip remains a milestone in TV history. Its influence, versatility, and lasting relevance make it a classic that resonates with audiences. The cool vibes of the late 50s are still alive in the hearts of those who experienced the roller coaster of emotions the series offered, ensuring its place in television history. In its final season, the creative direction of 77 Sunset Strip underwent a significant shift under the guidance of Jack Webb and William Conrad. They took charge and made bold decisions, such as replacing the entire cast except for Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. The focus then turned sharply to Zimbalist's character, Stuart Bailey, who transformed into an international spy. The unexpected change wasn't just about espionage, it also revolved around the surprising popularity of Kooky, played by Ed Burns. This led to the release of a 1959 record album titled Kooky Star of 77 Sunset Strip. The album featured the hit single Kooky Kooky Lend Me Your Comb, performed by Burns and Connie Stevens, drawing inspiration from Kooky's distinctive hair combing habit. The single soared to number four on the popular charts, showcasing the surprising impact of a TV character beyond the screen. In the final episodes, a new character, Hannah, portrayed by Joan Staley, entered the scene as Bailey's secretary. This addition brought a fresh dynamic to the show's narrative, introducing a new element as the series approached its conclusion. The show's uniqueness isn't just about crime and intrigue, it's also about unexpected shifts, chart-topping music, and the introduction of new characters. The show's ability to adapt and surprise viewers played a pivotal role in its lasting presence in television history. Looking back, it's evident that the creators didn't shy away from taking risks, ultimately contributing to the distinctive and dynamic nature of 77 Sunset Strip. The detective's office in 77 Sunset Strip had a real-world counterpart, the Mary Webb Davis Modeling Agency. While the exterior scenes were shot on a Warner Brothers soundstage, replicating the building, Dino's Lodge driveway, and part of Dino's, the actual location was home to the modeling agency. The doorknob on the real door was initially on the left, mirroring the mock-up in the early episodes. However, in a later twist, they shifted the knob on the soundstage version to the right. The Mary Webb Davis office eventually made way for the Tiffany Theater, and the original building has been demolished. 
the ownership battle over the show's rights played a significant role in Roy Huggins' departure from Warner Brothers despite conceptualizing the series and creating Stuart Bailey. The pilot episode, not penned by Huggins, was released theatrically, leading to a legal ownership dispute. This dispute eventually led to Huggins leaving Warner Brothers, severing his ties with the show he had envisioned. In an intriguing quirk, director George Wagner's name in the credits had an oddity George Wagner with the double uppercase GG. This subtle play on the seventh letter of the alphabet, creating GG as 77, was never explained by Wagner. It stands as an unsolved riddle, a nod to sharp-eyed viewers who might catch the hidden detail. The nuances of the real-world locations, ownership battles, and cryptic credits provide a behind-the-scenes glimpse into the makings of 77 Sunset Strip, adding layers to its narrative that extend beyond the on-screen drama. Sponsors played a crucial role in sustaining 77 Sunset Strip during its run. The show featured notable endorsements, including Anison Aspirin, Sirt's Breath Mints with the Golden Drop of Ritzin, and Salem Cigarettes. These sponsorships not only provided financial support, but also contributed to the show's cultural context, reflecting the advertising trends of the late 50s. The character Stuart Bailey, central to the series, originated from Roy Huggins' literary works. Initially introduced in the novel and short stories by Huggins, Stuart Bailey made his on-screen debut in the movie I Love Trouble, portrayed by Franchot Tone. This connection between literature and television highlights the adaptation of characters across different mediums, showcasing the creative evolution of Stuart Bailey beyond the written page. A distinct element of his character was his choice of wheels, a Thunderbird. This vehicle added a layer of sophistication to his persona, aligning with the suave and glamorous atmosphere of Los Angeles. The Thunderbird became an extension of his identity, symbolizing his style and flair as a private investigator. In its exploration of new directions, the show underwent a significant transformation in its final season. Guided by Jack Webb and William Conrad, the decision to revamp the cast brought a fresh focus on Ephraim Zimbalist Jr.'s character, Stuart Bailey. The unexpected shift also emphasized the popularity of Kooky, played by Ed Burns, leading to the release of a record album titled Kooky Star of 77 Sunset Strip. This move showcased the show's ability to adapt to changing dynamics and capitalize on emerging trends. The introduction of a new character, Hannah, portrayed by Joan Staley, in the final episodes added a new dynamic to the series. As Bailey's secretary, she brought a fresh perspective, emphasizing the show's willingness to embrace change and surprise its audience. The evolving narrative, chart-topping music, and the introduction of new characters underscored the dynamic nature of the show. Beyond the on-screen drama, the real-world locations of the series added authenticity. The detective's office, mirroring the Mary Webb Davis modeling agency, and the nuances of the Dino's Lodge driveway provided a tangible connection to the show's settings. Ownership battles and legal disputes over the show's rights, leading to Roy Huggins' departure from Warner Brothers, added an interesting layer to the behind-the-scenes narrative. In a subtle and unexplained detail, director George Wagner's name in the credits featured a double uppercase GG, a nod to sharp-eyed viewers. This cryptic touch exemplified the attention to detail and hidden elements that enriched the viewer's experience, showcasing the complexity and thoughtfulness behind the production. 77 Sunset Strip, with its blend of crime, intrigue, and unexpected twists, remains a landmark in television history. The show's adaptability, cultural impact, and exploration of new avenues contributed to its lasting legacy, leaving a lasting impression on the entertainment landscape.